Hey everyone, Zeph and Moses, and in today's video, I'm gonna share three, yes, three new updates that have come to the Simple Thirds platform that I'm working on building for you. This is an online lower thirds graphics creator that you can use to create PNG transparent lower thirds graphics for your live stream switchers. Whether you have an A10 Mini or a Rodecaster video, uh, you can use all of these graphics in your live streams and you can create them simply in one place. You can bulk create them, you can keep track of them based on clients or projects. A lot of cool features, but three new features that I wanna talk about today. And then if you stay till the end of the video, there is of course a promo code so that you can try this absolutely free for a month. All right, so let's dive into the lower thirds dashboard. So I'm over here in my simple thirds dashboard. I'm gonna start by creating a new project. Let's just make this project Zephin's new project, save project. I will open that up and we need to create a new graphic. I'm gonna call this Zephin's new lower third save graphic and now we open the graphic. So you'll see some familiar things here. Just a quick refresher, you get up to three lines of text. You can tweak what the text actually says, whether it's bold, whether it's italic, whether it's underlined, you can change your fonts. So if you wanna change out the fonts, you can do that right here. You've got so many things you can tweak, like you've got the color of the design, so you can change font color. If I wanna make this yellow, it's pretty quick and easy to go and do that. So there's my yellow. I can change the background color to a gradient. All very cool things. And then as you're previewing this, if you wanna see it on a different image, like not my ugly face, then you can see someone seated on the left, someone seated on the right, full body, and of course back to me for someone as a medium close-up shot centered on screen. Okay, new features. One, we've got this logo upload option. So if you go to logo upload, you can click this button. You can select any graphic that you have on your computer. I've got this demo graphic right here on my computer and it's instantly seen in the lower third. I can of course change it out or remove it later if I need to upload a different graphic and I'm trying to figure things out like maybe I uploaded the wrong one or a lower res one by accident. You can do that right here. You've got some logo alignment settings. So depending on where your text goes, if your text is centered, you can put the logo in the center or on the right. Uh, and then you can, of course, tweak a few other things like sizing. Let's say we want to change the size of this to make it bigger and have it fall off the lower third. That's fine. If we want to make it smaller, we can make it smaller. And so you can see how we have quick and easy adjustments here. I can also do vertical positioning alignment. So if I wanna raise this up a little higher, maybe I want it a little bit lower, we get some subtle tweaks to that positioning. That's on the vertical position. And then of course, horizontal position, you can move this all the way across your graphics. So this allows you more flexibility depending on where you want this aligned. So that is the first feature. I absolutely love it. And then of course, when you choose your resolution and then you download this as a PNG, your PNG file will be right here. And you can see you have your transparent background, you have your lower third, and you have the logo that you've uploaded into that graphic. So that is the first major feature. Next, there's another new feature. You probably saw it here if you were paying attention right back here, anytime you are within a project, right? So this is our dashboard. These are our projects. You can sort them by client or project. You can actually upload a CSV file now. So if you are bulk uploading names and titles, you click on this CSV file, and it's going to let you know that you can create graphics in bulk. But what you have to do is download our sample CSV first, okay? So you've got the sample CSV file. You need to open this in Excel, or you can open it in Numbers if you're on a Mac and you don't have Excel. You can also do this on Google. So if you have like Google Docs, you can upload it in Sheets. So we've got our sheet right here. This is our template, okay? So the first one is showing the graphic name. The second one is text line one. The third column is text line two and text line three. So I'm giving it a file name. Let's call this one Zeph and Moses. Let's call this one Zeph and Blacksburg. That's my real last name in case any of you didn't know. Text line one is going to be Zeph and Moses. This one will be Zeph and Blacksburg. And then this is usually where our title is gonna go. So let's just call this lower thirds dude. And this one can be lower thirds guy. 
and then line three we'll just keep this as simple thirds so i have created this file right you want to keep this in the same layout as we recommend otherwise it's not going to upload properly and then just file and save okay so we have now saved this as a csv file i'm going to close out of here go back into our simple thirds dashboard drag and drop your csv file right here or if you just click on it you can upload it so here is my simple thirds csv file I will hit open and it's gonna ask you to confirm the names and titles. You can of course delete some if you don't want any of these brought in, but this will allow you to bring all of them in in bulk. Then I just simply select create graphics. You're gonna give it just a moment or two so it processes all that information. And look at this, Zeph and Blacksburg and Zeph and Moses were both imported. If I go into here, you're gonna see lower thirds dude, that's for Zeph and Moses. If I go to Zeph and Blacksburg, lower thirds guy. So that data comes in way quicker and then you can build out your lower thirds. So this is for any of you that are trying to build out lower thirds in a very quick amount of time. If your client gives you that CSV file and confirms all the names and titles for you, that is going to be very easy for you to just pop them in there, select the colors as needed, and you are off to the races. So those are the two major features. And then one of them, the third one, this is the final one for today's video, you might have seen when we were in here and we were adjusting this, if you notice that as I change these, every time I make a change, this little save button kind of blips. I'm gonna do it again, watch, ready? That is because we have now added an auto save feature because I had a couple people say, hey, I made some changes. I forgot to hit that save button. I lost my changes. I don't want that to happen in the future. Well, now we have an auto save feature that will save as you go. So every change that you make, if I change my font, it's going to automatically save after I make that change. If I go bold, it's going to automatically save after that change. So just something that I want you to keep in mind moving forward, we have incorporated an auto save feature so that you don't lose any of your graphics and then you can back out to your dashboard and you still have everything right there. So those are the three major updates to the Simple Thirds platform. Feel free to leave me some feedback if you have an update that you want to see. And then of course, if you need to get in touch with me, you can contact me through the contact section of the dashboard. So as promised at the top of this video, I told you I was going to give you a free promo code so that you could trial this for one month, see how things work for yourself. The code is right here right on the bottom of the screen. So you see that that code right there? Use that promo code when you sign up for Simple Thirds. You will get a free month and then you can cancel this anytime. So I am not keeping you here. You are not stuck. This is for you to use when and if you need it. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.